Where do you stand on school opening? Do you agree with the president that we shouldn't open classes until a vaccine has been developed and distributed? Or do you agree with other officials na pwedeng ituloy yung August 24 opening as long as we meet certain safety standards at school and we observe the proper safety protocols, uh, etc.? Ako, maingat rin ako dyan, uh, Howie, no? because uh, sa France naman, naging super spreaders ang schools nila. Because nung nag sila ng quarantine, schools ang isa sa mga inuna nila. Uh, and that's a lesson we took. That's why we're not opening our schools. So palagay ko, yung August 24 is too soon. And in fact, merong Senate bill which uh, gives the executive branch the authority to uh, adjust the school year during the times of uh, emergency and pandemics. So, uh, in this situation, ko, August is way too soon now. And I would even be looking at maybe November, December, January. Dahil uh, blended learning na tayo eh. Uh, may, siguro yung mga may internet, internet kayo. Yung ibang sa malalayong barangay, sa probinsya, sa Amin, sa Aurora. Maraming barangay dun, wala walang internet. So, they have to print the materials that they will send. no? So, may konting adjustments which which will take time. Especially with the big... Bureaucracy, you're talking about how many thousands, tens of thousands of schools, millions of students. So millions of materials din yan, ah, uh, I don't envy the task of the DepEd and uh, kami sa Senado will try to help them as much as we can. No? Okay, you're a parent of uh, school-aged children yourself, no? Kung magbukas ang schools ng August 24, ano yung gagawin mo? Well, ang uh, magbubukas na nga yung isang school nung anak kong babae pero in online, hindi physical. Kung nag-open sila ng physical, hindi ko papayagan yung anak ko na pumasok. Mag-observe muna kami, titingnan namin ano yung sitwasyon, ano yung seating arrangements. But thankfully, ang sabi nila is uh, they're just doing online and they're trying to be safe also and cautious. Which I think most schools are, are also doing. Well, of course, uh, alam mo naman yung issues ng online, no? I mean, you, you authored uh, a, a, a law, uh, the Open Distance Learning yata, no? I think when you were still in the house, no? Um, pero di ba may malaking assumption dyan sa online learning na napakalawak na ngayon yung access sa internet when we know that many students at home, if we're expecting them to access the internet at home, do not have access. So, Again, para ma- baka ma-reinforce lang itong social inequity sa ating uh, bansa no? kapag umasa tayo sa internet para dito sa distance learning na sinasabi natin. Yes, that's a very valid point, Howie, yung you raised. No? Uh, marami na nga tayong uh, social in- inequalities, yung agwat, sa mayaman at saka sa mahirap. Napalaki, napakalaki na, makikita mo sa private and public schools, no? sa kagamitan, sa, pati sa entry level sa UP, for instance. Nakikita na dati, uh, public schools used to do well in the UPCAT. Ngayon, dominated by Ateneo and the other schools. So talagang, we have to be very conscious. Ang sabi nga ng mga eksperto, yung COVID can increase inequalities. And education, as you mentioned, is one of those areas. So talagang, uh, ito dapat, yung affirmative action or yung philosophy na yun, dapat should come into play. Eh. At uh, talagang, ifo-focus natin dun sa mga pinakamahihirap na areas. Otherwise, uh, this will be a problem, a larger problem for society uh, eventually, as you know. Oh. 